much as possible. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm all the way to the south end of the Brooks Mill in two and a half hours' time. We will drop you off at South End here now. If you require a turn ticket, just back this evening is at 10 o'clock tonight. With the London Eye River Cruise. The looks of perfect! Just making sure you're all awake. My name is Lee for Dead, giving you a big cheesy wave. Hello! Now guys, just a couple of health and safety things before we get started. Uh, there is still a global pandemic going on, and due to the current restrictions that we still have, masks are mandatory on the board unless you are exempt. So we highly recommend you keep your masks on uh, your own health and safety and the health and safety of others. There is hand sanitizer provided throughout the boat, and we do also ask that you maintain social distancing if you're moving around as much as possible. There, she is lovely and she's happy to help you out with anything you might need. Um, and that's about it. Oh, no, yes, no standing up on the upper deck tables. I'm going to shut you off. You have been warned. Right, let's begin the tour by talking about this absolutely stunning and beautiful building that we can see today. It's one of the highlights of the cruise, isn't it? Get your cameras out. St. Thomas's Hospital over on the left. <laughs> now, of course, we've got the Palace of Westminster over here on the right-hand side. The Houses of Parliament, <laughs> completed in the 18th is Pusion and Charles Barry. If you take a look at the top row of windows, underneath them are coats of arms. Each one of those coats of arms represents a different aristocratic family in England and in Wales. Lower down, the Lord's Prayer is carved into the stonework of the building, and it runs all the way around it, and it's meant to act as a barrier or a ward to keep out evil and malicious intent. So it's not a actually working. That's what I was just about to say. <laughs> around when they tried to destroy the ballot papers. You can still see some of the medieval sections though. Uh, those steps going into the water are black cloth steps. Now hundreds of years ago if you were brought that and mesh money penny are at the moment. Did you hear about the time Sean Connery got knocked out in his own house? Yeah, a bunch of books fell and I'm hit him on the head, knocked him out. He was interviewed about it afterwards and he said, well I can only blame myself. <laughs> Daniel Craig, of course, might be in there right now. So go on, give them a wave. Well, wave to our members of Parliament. Yes. Or give them any other hand gesture you deem appropriate. <laughs> I will not judge. Uh, put your hands up for me if you can see Big Ben. If you can see Big Ben, point to it. Everyone is pointing, guess what? You're wrong. You cannot see Big Ben because it's not the name of the clock. It's actually the name of the 13 and a half pound bell, which is the sound of the clock tower and chimes upon the hour. Where does the name Big Ben come from? I'm going to save it to the end of the tour. Now over on the left, you've got this weird bit with the white stripes. That is the Oxo... Uh, no, it's not. That is Old Scotland Yard, home to the Metropolitan Police Force. Next to it, you've got the white building. That is New Scotland Yard. The big tree in between the two buildings with all the branches coming from it is Special Branch. They've got a lot of evidence inside Old Scotland Yard from throughout the years. Most infamously, the unsolved Jack Torius serial killer. In 1888, Jack caused the autumn of terror in the district of Whitechapel in London's East End. He was never caught, and we may never know who Jack the Ripper was. He claimed to be canonical by victims. It could have been more, could have been less. Some historians have made about it. I reckon it was six, but I'm a criminologist. Um, now, who he was, like I say, we'll probably never know unless some very hardcore evidence starts up. A diary was discovered a few years back, which was apparently penned by Jack the Ripper, confessing to himself to the London Eye, and he would delete it only back in 2002 due to an unexploded World War II bomb lying underneath the river. Bridges run into Charing Cross Station. Take a look at Charing Cross Station for me. It's meant to represent something. Any ideas what? People often say to me, Liam, it looks like a toaster or a jukebox or the Batman symbol. One lovely man once said, he looks like my wife giving birth. Lovely. What I've told you is meant to look like a steam train coming out of the tunnel. Did you see that? No, neither did I. The area of Charing Cross is actually named after one of a number of crosses set up for the funeral procession of Eleanor of Castile, the wife of boxing, wrestling, gambling, pig tickling, fish slapping, money boiling, hamsters cooking. Your majesty is the birth of. A pirate ship on the right hand side, which I will also talk about on the return because we are speeding down river right now and I am. One, two, three, go! <laughs> oh, hands going everywhere. Uh, if you're pointing at the sky, interesting choice. And uh, if you're pointing ahead of you, well done. 
because you're wrong. <laughs> That's Tower Bridge in front of you. London Bridge is the boring collection of concrete you just went underneath. Not very pretty, was it? Don't worry, Brighton, London Bridge, as we went by. Now I can see even Google Images gets it wrong. In fact, the singer Fergie from the Black Eyed Peas got it wrong. She's wrote herself a song called London Bridge, and in her music video, she's twerking away on Tower Bridge. Anyone on board from America by any chance? Well, if you ever get out to America, if you get to down to Lake Havasu in Arizona, you will see our Victorian London Bridge. It was bought by a man named McCulloch and shipped on the airframe by Frank Dewey, because he thought it was by Tower Bridge. Now, this ship on the right is ancient Miss Belfast, but in 1938, she was the largest landing cruiser to serve during the Second World War. Arguably the most powerful. The guns at the front and back can fire a distance of 14 miles. She weighs only one and a half thousand tons, and she took part in the DD landings, the Battle of Norcade, and the Russian convoys. She helped to sink one of Hitler's favorite warships, the Scharnhorst. She then went to fight in the Korean War. We were on the phone earlier on, but it wasn't working. It just kept sinking. And on the right, you've got that round glass building that is City Hall. I've described it as looking like a tiny fiber on London. You know, my favourite Darth Vader's helmet. And that's where Mayor Sandy Canmore deal under this bridge. Oh, hello! If they spit on you, you get ten years good luck. <laughs> now, you don't want that right now, do you? Well, there you go, you all just got yourself a that is because that is the last bridge that sailors went under the Victorian and Edwardian times in the world to see. Now sometimes they could be gone for up to five years. And so their loved ones and sweethearts would gather on the bridge with a wee tear rolling down one cheek. A wee hanky in the hands. Likes. It's mainly my mum. For decoration, they are not needed to keep the bridge standing up. They're just there so it blends in nicely with this building coming up on the right hand side. The Tower of London place you must all visit. It's about 900 years old, guys. Built during the reign of William the Conqueror. Yeah, I got a place. Disappeared. Their disappearance meant their uncle could crown himself King Richard III. Did he have his nephews murdered off to become king? We may never know for sure. Sad. What you can see though is the brick defense to Traitor's Gate, London's first one-way system. Now torture methods in there include the thumb screw, the rack, the scavenger's daughter. People often ask me, Liam, what was the worst form of torture used in Britain? These brains got talent. Possibly have committed treason. I am a Scottish citizen. I have never sworn fealty to the King of England. Ben the first did not like that very much. Had William Wallace hung, drawn, and quartered, which was a very grisly way to go. On the tour with the Beef Eater soldiers who live at the Tower and guard the Crown Jewels, and they are so fantastic, they are so funny. Some of the best tours I've ever done. And best of all, their tours, five star Shangri La Hotel, their restaurants, viewing galleries, and luxury apartments, which you can buy if you've got the £47 million pounds to spend on them. And if you've got the £47 million pounds to spend on them, it's very important that you know I am currently free and single. Do come and find me at the end of the cruise. Between the gap of the buildings on the right hand side, you will see difficult to find. It's technically the least used bridge in London. So, do you see these people that are on it at the moment? They are lost. <laughs> now over on the left you've got that building with the FT in it, now that's the Financial Times building. I don't grip and stuff, right? Uh, but it's in the car park of that that the original Globe Theatre once stood. Now the original Globe burnt down in 1613 when during the performance of Henry VIII, an actor fired a live cannon on stage. Yes, the building here is really attached to what I think that Elka is over on the right. You've also got Fleet Street up there, if anyone's a fan of Sweeney Todd, the Demon Babylon Fleet Street. No evidence there ever was a Sweeney Todd in London. No evidence there was even a barber to protect it. Well, we didn't know that, so we turned them inwards so they could see each other and have a lovely little chat. No, so they were either during the reign of Ramesses II. So why is it called Cleopatra's Needle? Well, there's a couple of possible reasons. The most likely one is it's called Cleopatra's Needle after the book. Designed by Julia Barfield and David Marks, husband and wife architect team, opened up in the year 2000 as a Millennium Wheel. Then went on to be the British Airways London Eye, EDF Energy London Eye, Coca Cola London Eye, and it is, of course, now the last minute.com London Eye, which is why we're all wearing pink and there's lots of flamingos everywhere. I do a very good impression of a flamingo, I really do. My managers have told me to stop it. I've had to put my foot down. Now you can do a number of things on the eye.